Hello and welcome to this week's question with me, Mars Brining. So, today's question is, how do I measure draft and apply it to my model? Okay, so let's go ahead and then flip into SOLIDWORKS and let's see how we do that. Okay, so I have this model here. First thing I'm going to do is actually measure uh, this component and see if there is any draft on it. Now this type of part, when it's finished, uh, will be moulded and the tooling would need to be removed from the the actual main body uh, and then the, the tooling, the, the body is ejected. Uh, if I don't have draft, it can cause problems. So what I'm trying to do here is just measure and see what draft we've got at the moment. So at the moment, this component, the tooling split would occur from this face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use on the Evaluate tab, I'm going to use Draft Analysis here. okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure a certain amount, so two degrees of draft, all right, from this face. I can also flip the colors just in case I want to. I prefer to look at green, so I'm just going to flip it over. All right, so my positive's going this way, negative's going that way. Anything that's in yellow will, will require draft. So as you can see, if I hover over, this has got 54 degrees of draft. This has got zero. Okay, so if for any doubt, basically anything that's below this number here will display in yellow. So there's three faces, one there, one here, and one here, and they're all zero. So I can green tick that and leave it on. The other way you can actually tell is by picking a face and then using the normal two button. I've actually added mine here. If you don't have it, the normal two button also lives here. And you can see here that you can't actually see the side faces. I can on this one, yeah, because it's got 2.4 degrees of draft. I can't see this face again, this one here, or this one. And that's because there isn't any. There's no draft on them. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn draft analysis off now. So disengage, you just have to click the button again. And I'm going to go and actually apply draft to this. So what we need to do is go to the features tab and then use the draft tool which lives here. And then going to make sure it's on neutral plane. So I'm measure basically it means I'm measuring draft from a Pacific point. So my neutral plane is going to be this face, so the same face I was measuring my draft angles from. And then I'm going to go ahead and then select the faces that need to be drafted. So it's those two there and this one here. Now if I have the arrow, okay, there's two ways you can apply draft, either inwards or outwards. If I have the arrow facing away from the face, as you can see it's pointing the other way, it will apply outward draft. If I click the arrow here and flip it, or I press the button here, it will then apply inward draft, um, basically this amount. Okay, so it's going to measure two degrees from this face and then pull them in. So if I go OK, you can see that it has done it. All right, just to clarify, if I was to normal to this again, you can see I can see the side faces now. And that's because that draft has been applied. Also, if I go back to the Evaluate tab and use Draft Analysis, I'll repick the bottom face. You can see here then that there's no yellow anymore. That's because this face now has at least two degrees of draft on it, you can see there. Okay. So, that's how you can measure and apply draft in your part. Thanks for watching.